Now to Decision 2020. The countdown is on until Election Day, one week from tomorrow. You can see the clock ticking away on the bottom right of your screen, but in many ways, voting has already been going on here in our state and across the country. Yes, it has. Lauren Linder shares how the U.S. Postal Service plans to make sure ballots get to clerks on time. There are just eight days left to vote and election and U.S. Postal Service officials say they've made some improvements since the April primary so that all runs smoothly through November 3rd. We are very confident in our ability to be able to, uh, to process those ballots. Stan Frankie of the U.S. Postal Service says they're doing all they can to make sure all ballots get to the Milwaukee Election Commission by the 8 p.m. deadline on Election Day. We are taking extraordinary measures, uh, um, you know, obviously leading up this week up to the day of the election to get as many ballots um, home as possible. He addressed Milwaukee alders at Monday's Judiciary and Legislation Committee, along with Election Commission Executive Director Claire Woodall Vogue. She says to increase efficiency this cycle, they added barcodes on absentee ballots to help voters track where they are in the mail stream. We have had much fewer phone calls of voters saying they never received their ballot. Um, and just based on the volume of calls, it has shown great improvement. And to protect those ballots as they wait to count them on Election Day, the city has 24-hour surveillance and officers securing the building that stores the ballots, an important step as the state sees unprecedented numbers of people voting early. We processed um, more absentee ballots through the Postal Service than I can recall. Uh, I think um, throughout the state of Wisconsin, and I'm sure that includes um, Milwaukee as well. Even though the deadline is 8 p.m., Frankie says their goal is to have all ballots delivered to the commission by 1 p.m. on Election Day. We've also learned from the Election Commission that after the ballot deadline, they plan to have a live stream online as they count ballots to help increase transparency and dispel misinformation. For now, reporting in Milwaukee, Lauren Linder, TMJ4 News.